as Tibetans worldwide prepare to mark the 65th anniversary of the Tibetan uprising on March 10th, those living abroad for the past 65 years remain steadfast in preserving their culture and traditions, aspiring to see its former glory reinstated. Robert Barnett, an expert on Tibetan issues at the School of Oriental and African Studies at the University of London, voiced concerns about the decline of Tibetan culture. He remarked on the Chinese Communist Party's attempts to make decisions regarding Tibetan culture, despite its lack of understanding of Tibetan heritage. He noted, Tibetan culture and history are gradually disappearing. Artist Tashi Niema, aged 29, is dedicated to using cartoons to depict Tibetan traditions and their struggle against the Chinese Communist Party. He expressed his steadfast belief in Tibet's eventual freedom. I have always believed that Tibet will be free one day. In efforts to preserve their language, Tibetans in exile have released 223 volumes of online searchable dictionaries. Dorji Damdul, director of Tibet House in New Delhi, stressed the importance of language as a medium for cultural exchange, stating, Once the language is preserved, everything falls into place. The Tibetan government in exile in Dharamshala strives to maintain connections between Tibetan communities worldwide through online events, emphasizing their ideological closeness despite their physical distance. Since the CCP invaded Tibet in 1949, the region's delicate natural environment, religious beliefs, culture, and language have suffered severe damage over the past 65 years. Tibetans have faced challenges, including forced assimilation into Chinese culture, erosion of cultural identity, and deterioration of human rights. The United Nations has raised concerns about the CCP's forced sinicization measures in Tibet, including the forced removal of Tibetan children from their families and cultural brainwashing through labor transfer programs. Tibetans in exile, numbering 150,000, continue to advocate for Tibet and its people from various corners of the world.